My academic background includes bachelor's in chemical engineering uh, with specialization in petroleum refining and two master degrees in petroleum engineering and business management from Stanford University. I have worked on various projects in many different places around the world. I have worked on enhanced oil recovery project with Stanford University in US. I have worked in corporate planning of Getty Oil Company looking at how to get the best returns on your investment. I have worked in reservoir simulation uh, using supercomputers to simulate large reservoirs. I have worked in international sales and marketing. I have also worked on developing computer systems that can handle worldwide exports. I have also worked at evaluating projects and making sure we have good return on uh, stakeholders' re uh, investments. Lately, I am finding my passion would be to help people learn and understand the concepts as we gain experience by doing a different jobs, we, we learn about the integrate details and the connectivity between one process and the other. When we are at college or when we are in the initial part of our job, we fail to understand the big picture. When we gain experience, we see the connections and its impact uh, of the global situation. So my passion is to make the complex processes look simple to beginners. My passion is to explain to people how complexity can be simplified and people to understand and enjoy the workplaces. I think the future of oil and gas and petro petrochemical industry seems to be very exciting and dynamic. As I have mentioned in this course, as the world population is increasing, there will be need for more and more efficient processes for the growing population. And I see a lot of new things will be coming out of petrochemicals that are useful in our daily lives. We'll be looking at efficient ways, cheaper ways, more efficient ways, and also ways not to spoil the environment, but to improve the environmental situation as we go by. So there will be a lot of emphasis in, on the clean air and the emission. All of these require innovative thinking. All of these require independent thinking. And I see a lot of value for people interested in this industry.